everyone. So today we're in Kurakoen Gardens, which is in Okayama, the city I study in. And it's one of the top three gardens in Japan. Um, the other two are located, one in Kanazawa and the other in near Tokyo in Mido. And I brought you here today so you can take a look at uh, the Japanese garden and see um, why it's so famous. So a little background about the garden itself. It was built by the Ikeda family, which was a ruling family here in Okayama for a while. And they finished the garden in 1700. And it took about 13 years to complete. Sadly, a lot of what you see today is uh, rebuilt because in 1934 there was a big flood here which kind of destroyed a lot of the of the garden and then also during World War II a lot of the bombs hit this garden and it destroyed a lot of it but thankfully the Ikeda family kept a lot of detailed records about the garden so they were able they were kind of able to rebuild the garden the way it looked before it was destroyed And the garden itself was not actually open to the general public when it was first um, made. It was only for the daimyo, which was kind of the lord and the, and the ruler of the area at the time. So it was kind of his own private um, garden where he, where he invited guests to stay. It wasn't until 1884 that they turned over um, control over to the city. And that's when the garden itself was opened up to the public. And thanks to that, we're able to be here and appreciate all the beautiful garden. Y una de las cosas favoritas mías del parque durante este tiempo de año es los árboles que tienen aquí porque se convierten en rojo durante el eh, otoño y es algo que yo no tengo en casa porque de donde soy casi no hay mucho cambio durante el año. Eso eh, me gusta ver eso porque me encantan los colores. Y otra cosa que me gusta del parque es que siempre andan limpiando. Uh, he venido aquí como dos, tres veces y cada vez como esta señora aquí, siempre andan um, recogiendo los, los leaves o andan en el árbol tratando de limpiar.
apenas salí del jardín y ahora vamos a ir al castillo que está aquí. Eh, ojalá que llegue a tiempo porque se cierran como en 10 minutos. The castle was built in 1597, but like the garden, it was destroyed during World War II in 1990, and 1945, and it was later rebuilt in 1966. So what you see today is made out of concrete, and it's not um, as nice as the original one, or so I hear, haven't been there. Y este castillo le llaman Crow Castle porque la mayoría de él es en negro. Y, y a mí me encanta eso porque si, han, si no han notado de mi ropa, me encanta el negro y por esa razón me gusta mucho este castillo. For comparison, I'm 5'5". Five five and I feel like I could be the size of a samurai. So that's super cool. Este lugar me encanta. Tiene muchas cosas para ver y una de mis favoritas cosas al momento es que tienen una espada de samurai y en la actualidad quiero comprarme una pero salen muy caras o so creo que no y luego soy me gusta el programa Naruto que es un anime y tienen estas cosas que salen en el programa y me siento como si estoy en el show So as far as the castle, I liked it, but it's just, I don't know, um, not my favorite. I went to the one in Osaka and I liked that one a lot better. It's bigger. Um, at the top, they have like a, a bigger spot for you to look out into the city. Um, better views too. Um, um, and it has more information and I can read it because here it had a lot of info, but I can't share any of it because I don't read Japanese at all. I, as for the garden, I really like it. Um, I would definitely go back there. Um, just because since I'm a student at Okayama University, um, I get in for free, so no worries there. Um, so if you're ever in Japan, I recommend, and if not this one, go to the other two big ones. Um, those are really cool as well. I've seen pictures and I plan on going there. So um, thank you for watching and please share this video. Um, tell your friends about it. Um, like it. Um, subscribe. Alright, thank you.